What's up guys? I just woke up, but I gotta hurry up and make this video because there's not a lot of time before Monster Hunter Rise comes out. Today we're playing Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and we're gonna be fighting the Zamtrios, because it's one of my favorite monsters. It's a fourth gen monster, it's fitting. I would play Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for this video, because it just seems to make sense. But I don't have a way to record my 3DS. So we're playing Generations Ultimate instead, the last 4th gen game. It feels kind of sad that we're not getting to play my favorite Monster Hunter game for Ultimate, but... Uh, 3DS capture cards are annoying to find, and I don't know what I'm, I'm looking for, so... We're just gonna play the Switch game. But yeah, this game's crazy. You got all kinds of Hunter arts and whatnot. 4th generation added a lot of mobility and stuff. Uh, this game I have played the most out of any Monster Hunter. Oh, this Samtrios is very large. I think it's very large. It's actually been a while. Oh, also, I'm playing Aerial Insect Glaive, and it's been a while. So, hopefully I remember how to play it already. I'm Already I'm trying to play Rise Insect Glaive, and the buttons are different, and it's not working. So, <laughs> the first part of this fight is just going to be me remembering the buttons. Uh... But that's fine. This is already, I have not gone into the air the insect lane, but I'm stuck under it. <laughs> I probably should have just played Great Slur now that I think about it. Because in Rise, the insect lane is quite a bit different, actually. Like, at first glance, it seemed pretty samey, but the, it, it, in practice, it's quite a bit different. But that's fine. Oh, also, I'm using G rank stuff, and this is a high rank monster. Because I kind of anticipated the fact that I wasn't going to remember what I'm doing. So, uh, you know. It's fine. I, 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 how do I even, like, recall my Kinsec? Oh gosh, this video is such a mess. Okay. Okay, it's the same. It, this this thing's the same as Ryan. I, I don't like how large he is. This, this is definitely a large Xandrus, right? I'm not just crazy. He's huge. You know what? I'm just gonna set down a trap. Make this easy on myself. I'll let Neko, GF, and Albert uh, keep him occupied. Oh, got him! All right, let's uh, let's get him. Yeah, Insect Lake's a lot of fun. It was introduced in this generation. It's a very fast weapon, and it also focuses a lot on the verticality that was added. It's good. It's a pretty fun weapon. I know a lot of people picked this weapon up in Monster Hunter 4 when it came out. It was really crazy in the original Monster Hunter 4 because of how easy it was to get mounts. And naturally the weapon lends itself well to getting mounts. There we got a mount. See, if this was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, we would have gotten one of these way earlier. They, they nerfed mounting in Generations, and pretty rightfully so, because it was kind of insane how many times you can just knock the monster over. Especially if you had the right team comp. But yeah, I think I could just do this. Throw myself at him. Yeah, it seems to be worked pretty well. I'm, aerial style is very spammy. You don't really know how. You don't really don't know how. Bleh. You don't really have to know what you're doing. It's the best part about aerial style. What does Extract Hunter do? Okay, I actually needed to hit the monster with that. Got it. <laughs> I, I forgot how it worked. I haven't- I actually haven't played this game in... a couple months now, it feels like? I don't know, it's been a little while. Ow! He's just, like, stayed in armor mode this whole fight. When's he gonna turn into his, uh, puffer fish? I guess I should talk about why I like Zamtrio so much. So first off, his default design is really cool. He's, he's like a big shark monster mate. But then it's really cool because he can either like become super cool when he puts on his crazy looking ice armor, or he can look really silly when he turns into puffer shark mode. Like, look how goofy this is. I love it. He's like adorable and really cool at the same time. It's great. Also, the Frozen Seaway Battle people lit, so that helps too. Uh, Tiger Strike 
Xantrios is pretty neat too. Unfortunately, that hasn't come back since uh, Monster Hunter 4, but you know. I do prefer the original version anyway, because it has the cool ice armor, and the, the Tiger Stripe one focuses more on like the upper aspect of the monster. And now he's deflating! Ow, I forgot that you get hit by that. Oh, I intercepted him. I'm a gamer. Uh-oh. Yeah, the nice thing about Insect Wave is how easy you can just dodge stuff. Not even with the actual dodge mechanic, but just by using your attack. I, I was tempted to equip my uh, Ravios armor for this hunt for the beam because that armor just looks hilarious. But now nah, we're using we're using the my good armor. It's the uh, what do they call it? It's like a John Cena joke, right? Like Joe Cena or something. <laughs> it's, it's such a dumb name for the armor set, but yeah, I, I just have it transmog to look like Lapis armor, which is also a new thing in Generations. Uh, I believe Generations Ultimate, I don't think it was in original generation, the ability to transmog. I know that was a big thing when they announced that it would be in the game finally. Although it's pretty limited, like you can't actually do it until you get into post game and ah, uh, that would be bad. Which to be fair, I mean post game Monster Hunter is still a lot of game left, but it just kinda sucked that you couldn't do it earlier. That's fine, because I spent most of my hours in this game <laughs> past that point, so it's fine. This is actually taking longer than I expected, and it's almost definitely because I don't know what I'm doing. I should have just played Great Sword. Also, I don't have a way to get rid of my, uh, I didn't, I don't think I have any null there, so I'm just kind of stuck with the, with the cross flight. He's a large lad. Oh, he, he completed the subquest. Nice. I think that's the first time we've done that in the series so far. <gasps> we did it! We killed Puffer Man! It's always funny when you kill him when he's pumped up, because then he's just an absolute unit. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm still in the process of waking up. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get this uploaded, and then, uh, you'll see the world episode tonight. Game on, my fellow gamers. Oh, gosh, I should've just, I should've slept in.